Aisha is here because her boyfriend Elijah is controlling and abusive. He's even punched her while she was pregnant. All of this because he believes she's cheating. All this and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. When I found out I was pregnant, I told him and he punched me in my stomach. The problem is she dressing to get attention from other men. When I dress the way that I dress, I want to look good. What woman doesn't? She doesn't tell you how she dressed, right, Steve? Like, she wants me to think I'm crazy. Have you ever cheated on Elijah? No. Do you ever cheat on her? I know I'm not cheating. I know I'm not cheating. I know cheating. I'm not cheating, Steve. And the results are you did not tell the truth. I'm like a ticking time bomb. It's being physical. I never hit her. <laughs> Grab me, I would try to choke him. You're kind of both being abusive towards each other. We are. You have two little babies in your house, and they're watching you guys do this. You have given me reason not to trust you. Are you cheating? No. OK, wait, before he tells the test, can you come clean with me now? Oh, God. Is there anything you want to tell him now? No. Aisha, what's going on with your boyfriend? Um, well, we've been together for a year, and we have a five-month-old baby, and he just doesn't trust me at all. And at the beginning of the relationship, I was with someone else, and I cut all ties to be with Elijah. And so I've... you were dating somebody else, you met Elijah, you're like, I kind of like him better, you broke it off with the other guy, and you started seeing Elijah. Yeah. Okay. And he hasn't been able to trust me ever since. Why? Because you were cheating on that guy with him? Well, I wasn't... Me and the other guy wasn't together. But he lived with me, so he didn't really trust that. Oh, he thought that there was more to it than... Yeah. ...being just living together. Yeah. And after a while, he started being kind of controlling. He didn't like what I was wearing or how I dressed. He said it was provocative, and it was for other men and whatnot, and that wasn't the case. And I started asking him if I can wear this and if I can wear that. So I started getting his approval for stuff and whatnot. And then after that, I attended, I tried to go to school. And there was an instance where I had to exchange numbers with someone for um, in case we missed our homework or something. He went through my phone and he said that I was cheating on him. Have you ever cheated on Elijah? No. Never? Not at all. How long have you guys been together? A year. A year. And do you have a child together? Yes. Isn't a lot of the problem um, that you're dating, like, a very young guy, a, a kid? Yeah. He's 18 years old. Yeah. Maybe, the, like, the clothes thing's not an issue, but once you give into that, then it becomes, he's More looking at problem. your phone and who's this guy? Yeah. So it just... It does, it does escalate to that. But at the time, it wasn't a problem, but it did escalate from that. Right, it, you chip away at your freedom. Yeah, and before I found out I was pregnant, I was having symptoms of being tired, and I didn't want to have sex and all that. And when we did have sex, he said that I felt different. But it was only because I was pregnant, but I didn't know. So after that... Oh, your that, body felt different. Right, my body felt different. So when I found out I was pregnant, I told him, and his first reaction was, he punched me. And... Hold on a second. You found out you were pregnant. You tell your boyfriend, hey, we're going to have a baby. And he punched you. He punched me. And I screamed. Where did he punch you? In my stomach. I screamed, and I was scared. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was scared. And um, a friend yeah, of mine I was Yeah, I got to imagine it was painful. You're scared. That's like the craziest reaction you would ever expect from somebody. Yeah, a, a friend of mine came in to see what was going on, but I was really pissed. I started crying. I walked off. I started walking home, and he chased me. He apologized. He, he said he was sorry, and it was never going to happen again. So I forgave him, and I took him how, back. How could you possibly forgive anybody for doing that? <laughs> No, but I, I forgave him, and we made up. And after that, everything was okay, everything was fine. Then when I was about, like, four months pregnant, I was really sick, and I didn't feel like having sex or whatnot, so he decided to break up with me. And Why did he decide to break up with you? I guess because I wasn't having sex with him. He just decided so to break up with me. So you're pregnant, and he breaks up with you because you don't want to have sex. He broke up with me, he decided to be with someone else, 
And I didn't know about it, but I had a feeling, and my intuition told me to go to his house. So I went to his house, and the other girl was there, and I forgave him again. Oh, my God. And he says he didn't cheat on me because we weren't together, but to me, I felt like I was cheating on him because You're pregnant we with this both child. didn't break up. He broke up. Right. So a couple months after that, I was like about six months pregnant. I was tired of it, and I took his clothes to his house. As I was driving off, or as I got in my car to pull off, he threw a brick at the car. It didn't hit the car, it went past the car, and I left. So that's better. I dropped, I parked the car, and I came back on foot to talk to him about it. And I mean, I'm having his baby, I really wanted us to work out. And I forgave him again, we had the baby, everything was good. After I had the baby, like, she's five months now, so when she was about three months, we got into another argument. And this argument, it got physical. Um, he pulled my hair, I pulled his hair, he scratched me, I scratched him, we were yelling, we was tussling. He's always accusing me of cheating on him. I'm at home all the time. I'm at home, I have two kids, so let me and ask I'm you, at home. Why are you here today? Because he says that the only way that we will mend our relationship and he will possibly marry me as if I prove to him that I'm not cheating. And I'm supposed to help you do that? Yes. If I can get the lie detector test and prove to him that I'm not why, cheating, then no, hopefully but see, everything will be good. Why in the hell would I help you stay with this guy? <laughs>I dress the way that I dress, I want to look good. What woman doesn't? She doesn't tell you how she dress, right, Steve? Like, oh, she wants me to home, think I'm, I'm crazy. Home. I know I'm Hold not on. cheating. I know I'm not I cheating. I know I'm not cheating, Steve. And the results are, you did not tell the truth. <laughs>
I, but I still I, can't I, understand I, I, what was the reaction that caused you to do that. Yes. How do you explain it to your little daughter someday when she grows up and says, Dad, when I was in mom's stomach, you found out you punched me. How do you tell your daughter that? I don't even know, Steve. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, this young woman's on my show today because she loves you, she has a child with you, and she wants, she wants a relationship to go on. Why? I have no idea. You punched her in the when she was pregnant. You left her while she was pregnant because she wouldn't have sex with you. Um, then you shacked up with some other girl, and then you threw a brick at a car that she's driving. It wasn't intentionally to hit her, though. I mean, what I, was? I, 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 I didn't throw it right at her window. Like, hey, let me bust the window. I threw it. The, the so brick tell me the what the intent is when you throw a brick at somebody. What is the intent? The intent was anger. That that was the intent. It, Just like punching her in the stomach. It was an emotion. Was anger. 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 Right. Yeah, it, it was an anger problem, Steve. And that's how you deal with it. You throw bricks and you punch people in the stomach. I am regretful, Steve. I apologize for everything I ever did. I love this guy to death. To um, death, Steve. You love her to death. To death, Steve. That's the scary thing. Um. Yeah. Um, do you think she's cheating on you? And why do you think she's cheating on you? Because the way she acts around certain men, we get around a certain crowd, her old perspective change. And the how does what? Change. So her, her dress changes? Her personality changes. And how does her personality change? It's like she 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 paying the guys or whoever we're around more attention than me. It's like I'm right here. So why why are you giving all your attention to the next individual when you got me sitting right here beside you? Like, it's called socializing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's the way it's the way you socialize, though, Steve. You don't socialize with your breasts and your cleavage hanging all out and your booty all sticking out. Come on now. The problem is, she dressing to get attention from other men. When I dress the way that I dress, I want to look good. What woman doesn't? Do you ever cheat on her? I know I'm Hold not on. cheating. I know I'm not I cheating. I know I'm not cheating, Steve. And the results are, you did not tell the truth. I want to look good. What woman doesn't? The problem is, she dressing to get attention from other men. When I dress the way that I dress, I just had a baby. I want to look good. I don't want to look what good for other men. What woman doesn't? I don't want to look good for other men and other people. I you do it because I'm, I'm with him. I'm, I'm with him. Right. I'm not with. I'm not leaving him to go out and dress nice. I'm dressing nice so, because I'm with him. Because and we're she's out dressed together. nice and she talks to other men. She's. You think she's cheating on you? Certainly, basically, yes, Steve. Uh, any proof? Uh, you know, ever find like a man's drawers in your bedroom or? Well, Steve, before me, she, she had another guy. But she left him to be with you. But if you love this guy, but you left him all of a sudden to be with me. She said she didn't love him. What's the problem? The problem is I don't trust her because the simple fact, I feel like if she did it to him, she may do it to me. OK. See, I understand this uh, rationale of thought. It's not correct, but I understand why he's thinking that way. And it's a case, a big case of immaturity. Um, <laughs> And if you see what you're, and you're a couple years older, and women mature much faster, in my opinion, than men, you're gonna, if you stay with them, you're gonna have to deal with this way of thinking for a long time. And I'm telling you, a piece of paper is not gonna change that. Um, the other thing is, she, you know, she's seeking your approval on what she wears, and she she dressing to get attention from other men, Steve. That's how I but feel. Every it might not woman be does that. Attention, but that's how I feel. Women want to be looking good. They want other people to notice them. Why do you, you know? <laughs> is, is that just the way of life, man? You didn't know that? No, I didn't. No. All right. I, I, the fact of it is, I could stand here and have this conversation for the next three hours. And it'd be like talking to that chair. <laughs> Same results. You know what I mean? In about, I'm going to say 15 years from now, he's going to be ready to be in an adult relationship. Can you wait 15 years? 
Yes, I can. <laughs> and and tr truthfully, you can't. You know you can't. You know who are the only people that wait for anything for 15 years? People in jail. And, and, and that's only because they have no choice. All right, you took a lie detector test. Oh, by the way, do you ever cheat on her? One time, but Steve, no, 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 no. No, we wasn't, we wasn't together. We were split, Steve, split. I broke it off with her. Were you dressing all sexy and? No, I don't, I don't dress, I don't dress it in play. I dress normal. I don't dress to get into it. I'm okay how I look. All right, uh, your, your boyfriend took a lie detector test. I'm just curious, I don't even know what the hell we asked him. But what if he fails? What's ever on here? Then I'm gonna have to leave him. Because You're gonna leave. You're gonna leave. <laughs> Elijah, you came on the show today and you took a lie detector test because you want to prove to Aisha that you're a true blue guy, right? Okay. <laughs> We asked you, besides the one female that she knows about, since in a relationship with Aisha, have you had any sexual physical contact with any other females besides Aisha? He answered no. Besides the one female she knows about since in a relationship with Aisha, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females besides Aisha? He answered no. Are you currently cheating on Aisha? Currently. No, he said no. He said he's not cheating. And the results for all three questions came back the same. And the results are? I never hit her. He grabbed me. I would try to choke him. You're kind of both being abusive towards each other. We are. You have two little babies in your house. And they're watching you guys do this. We asked you, besides the one female that she knows about, since in a relationship with Aisha, have you had any sexual physical contact with any other females besides Aisha? He answered no. Besides the one female she knows about since in the relationship with Aisha, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females besides Aisha? He answered no. Are you currently cheating on Aisha? Currently. No, he said no. He said he's not cheating. And the results for all three questions came back the same. And the results are, he did not tell the truth. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Seriously? I swear to God. Seriously, That's bro? That's my guy. Oh my, I'm going to put it on my baby. Oh, all three questions? Oh all three questions. Mm. Currently cheating on Aisha, for real? Currently? Bro, seriously? Wait, 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 see right there what he just said? Currently cheating on Aisha? Not that, oh, one and two are wrong. He just went to jump to number three. But she, she know I'm not cheating on her. We together, 20, could we together 24 7? 24 7. 24 7. Impossible. That's crazy. That's crazy. For that's, that's you know what we gotta start doing on the show? Crazy. What I'd like to do, and maybe my director can do this in the future, but it would have been perfect for this case. Roll back the reaction of your face when he's like. <laughs> There's no possible way you could have failed that thing, right? Well, but I guess. now, do you feel pretty good about your results? Yeah, I about do. About your take the test? Yep. So if you pass, then wouldn't it seem obvious that Damn, he geez. was indeed lying? And if he was indeed lying, what are you going to do about it? I have to leave him. You will leave him. We'll find out, because we're going to play pick a door. Oh. That's crazy, that's the is some, it crazy? Something wrong with your test or something, I swear. <laughs> something wrong with that test, Eve. Or, or. Something wrong with that or, test. Or, no, no, is there something no, wrong with you? No, something wrong with your test. Come on,
Now, Aisha took a lie detector test. Have you ever had sexual contact with another man while in a relationship with Aisha, no. uh, with Elijah? She answered no. Um, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another man while in a relationship with Elijah? She answered no. No. Are you currently cheating on Elijah? She answered no. No. And the results for her lie detector test is that she also did not tell the truth. <laughs> No, no, That's it's not, not right. it's not right now, right? That's not right. Oh, but but mine's had to be right. You put on it's not no, right. No, no, bro, no, bro. Currently, you, you, currently, you, you expect me to believe that? Currently, you expect for real? No, I don't. Currently, I'm at home when you go to work. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have a car to go anywhere. Hold on. I know I'm not cheating. Hold on. I know I'm not cheating. I know I'm not cheating, Steve. Okay, so I mean, really, you both are lying on the lie detector test. Listen. You can, the cameras are rolling and you can keep playing this act of, oh, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. But the truth of it is, no, I, I mean, you certainly no, know that you're a dirty dog and you're the sneaky dirty dog. No, I did not. Um, no, I did not. No, I did not. No, I did um, And I, I've been having a little bit of fun with this story, but what you did is despicable. You put your hands on a woman. I hope whatever woman becomes involved with you in the future, seriously, calls the police, locks you up, and you get what you deserve for touching anybody like that. Um, I'm the biggest advocate of young people not having kids, certainly when they're not in committed relationships. Your young teenage years, which you're still a teenager, you're barely out of it, is to date, go to school, further yourselves, not jump in having kids because neither one of you showing any level of maturity that you're re ready for this type of relationship. But I'll say this, because there is a little baby involved and this isn't a typical young couple just breaking up, or if you do break up, but it's if over. you do want to take, I, know I, I don't care about who's faithful. I really don't, yeah, I don't right, care. It's over. But what it's I over, do Steve. care about is that, that little baby gets the right treatment. So if either one it's of over. you want help with uh, some parenting classes, some counseling, I certainly would advise that. So instead of focusing on this relationship that's going nowhere, I would certainly redirect your energy in focusing on being a good parent. Good luck to both of you. I'm like a ticking time bomb. It's being physical. You're kind of both being abusive towards each other. We are. You have given me reason not to trust you. Are you cheating? No. Is there anything you want to tell him now? No. I'm like a ticking time bomb. It's being physical. You're kind of both being abusive towards each other. We are. Sherry and Stefan have two children together and are engaged to be married. They had the perfect relationship until it turned abusive. Now with the children begging for the abuse to stop, they called me for help. Sherry, what's going on with your relationship? Steve, I'm here today because we need help. It's, it's gone to the point where it's being physical. And now my two-year-old notices it. And he'll come up to us and say, stop, no, stop fighting, stop arguing. And now, you know, if we don't get help now, we won't have a family at the end. And I love my family. It started, you know, when I was first pregnant with him. Um, I was two months pregnant, and one of um, my ex, an ex called my phone. And this is what happened. Uh, he, he got mad, and he threw the phone. Like, he threw the So he saw that it was an ex calling. Right, he did. And he threw the phone, and it almost hit me. So, um, you know, me being the person I am, I'm not an angel, you know, I'm a very stand-up person and I will defend myself. So I came back at him, I told him, if you ever do, you know, if you ever throw a phone or you try to touch me again, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to mess you up. That's when he grabbed me, you know, he 
grabbed me. He tried to choke me. I would try to choke him back, and he pushed me down. This is, this is a case, I think you're trying to say, where you're kind of both being abusive towards each other. We are. So he's at fault. And I am at fault, too. You're at fault, too. Because I have a very, um, yes, I, I'm like a ticking time bomb. If I don't get the information that I need, then, you know, I'm going to try any kind of way to get it from him. How scared little kids must be, because right. it's you know. And it's scared. That's it's the point. To be it scares in the house. me also. You know, when my two-year-old notices that we're actually having a confrontation, and that many, that how, scares me. How many children do you have? I have a four-month-old and I have a two-year-old. And home is supposed to be the safe place. It is supposed to. And be. mom and dad are supposed to show each other love, and the kids are supposed to be feel love, and all the things that they feel unsafe in the world. They're supposed to come home and feel safe with their parents. Right. And so, your kids um, aren't getting that. You know, in most of our arguments that lead to these physical, you know, confrontations is about trust and him cheating. Oh, you think he's cheating on you? When I was around six months pregnant, I had suspicions that he was cheating because he became very distant. Later on, you know, with me keep confronting him, trying to get the information out of him, you know, it would turn physical and he would get mad at me, you know, for keep asking him. He would tell me, you know, stop thinking crazy. You know, you're, you're, you're just thinking crazy. And, um... Were you thinking crazy? At first I did, you know, I was like, well, maybe he's not cheating, maybe he's not doing anything. But later on, he came clean. He said, you know, when you was pregnant with our first child, I was cheating on you. And that really hurt me. Sure. It hurt me very bad to the point where, you know, I just want him to feel the same pain. So I did tell him that, you know, I cheated on him with my boss, but it was a lie. I just wanted him to feel the same pain. You told him you cheated. I did, I did. I told him I cheated on him. And, and are you married now? No, we're, we, this, you know, he says we argue all the time now. You know, it's always an argument you, between us. You had planned us. to get married. You were like, you got engaged. You were right. planning. But so, so much abuse. And what type of abuse? Verbal, physical? Physical. Um, You're hitting each other? Yes, we do. How is it to live like that in your own house? The person that you have sex with also is the person that you're fighting with, that you're hitting each other. Well, this, I mean, how can it's you go a lot from... of tension between us because if I feel like I can't trust him and he's cheating on me and he's, you know, talking to other females, I can't have sex with him because I'm not emotionally, I'm not emotionally there. And he says, if I'm not having sex with him, what do I expect for him to do? So it's like a cycle that keeps going in circles. And like I said so before... So I guess he came on and he's taking a lie detector test today, right? Yes, he did. And if he passes these lie detector results, will that help you to begin trusting him again? It'll, it'll start the process. It'll start the process. All right, your husband's name is Stefan? Yes. All right, let's bring him up. <laughs> I, I refer to Stefan as your husband, but you're, you're, you're not married, but engaged and abusing the hell out of each other. Just before you say anything, you're both abusers, you both gotta stand up. Um. I never hit her. You have two little babies in your house, and they're watching you guys do this. You have given me reason not to trust you. Are you cheating? No. Is there anything you wanna tell him now? No. I never hit her. You have two little babies in your house, and they're watching you guys do this. You're both abusive. You're choking each other, Pardon. right? But, you know, it doesn't on, start hold, with okay. me. I know. Hold on. I have. I have. You have choked her, right? I never hit her. You never hit her? I never hit her. But I have shoved her and pushed her. her. I never choking, hit her. Choking, pushing. Yeah, I, I, I can say I messed up on that. that I mean, I mean it's, it's, that... It's, it's all abuse at the same time. Exactly. It's all abuse. I'm saying... It is. It is all abuse. And especially, you have two little babies in your house. Yeah. And they're watching yes. you guys do this. And your two-year-old is coming up to mom saying, can you please stop, please stop, yeah, and please that, stop. And that hurt. Yeah. And that hurt. That hurts, like, a lot. Okay, my That's... point is, the reason why I have to keep talking and to keep drilling is because I can't get the truth out. But you think if... I'm cheating? All Are you the, cheating? No. You're not cheating anymore? No. When's no. the last time you cheated? 
Uh, I don't remember. Oh, it's that's on. a lot. I don't okay, remember. Just, See, this no, is the thing. Just, we break up once a week. <laughs> we break up. We break up once so a week. So when you break okay. up once a week, is, the, is that okay? That it, didn't, it, incurred. It, it didn't happen. It incurred then, during them times. The thing is sex. It's if, always sex. It's sex. If I'm not getting sex, it would be four months. All summer long. If you're not getting it home, you can't fool around on the side. No. What the okay. thing is, you have to discuss in your relationship and either what do we need to fix in our relationship or we need to see, go our what, separate ways. See, that's why we're here now. Okay. So you took a lie detector test. Yes. And you're here to say, hey, look, I'm here. I can pass this. Yes. And I want you to start trusting me. Yes. But really, if you don't change your behavior, what good is this test? Do you think like marriage counseling would help with you guys? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We'll certainly provide it, but we might not have to provide if he fails this thing, right? Right. All right. So, uh, Stefan, you took a lie detector test. You're pretty confident. Yeah, I'm sure. You don't seem like it. I'm reading I'm, your body I mean, I'm like. What you mean you like? Okay, wait. Too. Before he tells the test, can you come clean with me now? Tell me now. Good I point. need to know from you now. Good point. Have you been cheating? Anything. Honestly, since we, when we are in good terms, no, no. I don't want to hear in good terms. Have you been cheating? No. Okay, let's find out. No. Oh God. Um, <laughs> she gave you a chance, man. She gave me a chance to what? We asked you, have you had sexual contact with other women besides the three women Sherry already knows about? You refused to answer. That was, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I did. I well, did. I, did. I mean, what I does did. that say? You refused to answer the question. Have you had sexual intercourse with other women besides the three women Sherry already knows about? Refused to answer. Okay. In the but last thirty, okay. that's not okay. In the last thirty days, while in a relationship with Sherry, have you had any sexual physical contact whatsoever with any other females besides Sherry? You answered no, and you did not tell the truth. Huh? What Come you on. mean you did not tell the truth? Oh. I just gave you the chance to tell me without him mean. reading a lie detector test. So you couldn't that's, tell me. That's Listen. The, then you could have told me that when I tell you to be honest with me. I don't need for you to come on here. If you want to talk to other people, that's fine. Let me not, know. That's not, that's not it. Listen, don't, you know, that's, I, that's, I mean, of all the unbelievable, I mean, like, shocking... I mean, I know we have arguments. This is not shocking. I know, we're gonna have, I know we have arguments, but the, the last month. You said the last month? Last 30 days. Oh, what, what was it, the last 60 days? <laughs> No, you look so confused right I'm now. I'm looking like, how, how can that? Listen, listen, save it. I don't believe you. I'm sure she doesn't, and that's what counts. Um, the fact is, you refuse to answer. If you, ref you come on the show, you know you're going to take a lie detector test. Why in the world would you refuse? I'm guessing it's because you're guilty um, or you're lying. To me, he doesn't seem like a guy that's ready to be a grown-up. He's ready to be a father, or he's ready to be a man that's committed to one woman. That's not true. What I mean, you mean not, it's not true? It's then can you tell me? There. Can you tell me now? We went together one talking. We I wasn't talking house. when? I left the house. You only left the house for a day. It was that day. A day? So <laughs> you, what, you, what do you mean? OK. Before we escalate that uh, problem again, let's step back a little bit. And you took a lie detector test, and let's read your results. Sherry, are you currently cheating on Stefan? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> Besides kissing and touching with your ex-boyfriend one time, have you had any other sexual physical contact with another man while in a relationship with Stefan? You answered no. The results for that question is you did not tell the truth. No. No. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with another man while in a relationship with Stefan? No. Is there anything you want to tell him now? No. Okay. You answered no. 
And the results for that question is the same. You did not tell the truth. What? No. But I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be like. No, well, I have not had sexual intercourse with anyone. Well, you had Since sexual intercourse with, with someone. No, I um, did not. Why wouldn't you say, you know what? We're both not ready. We both have to be open and honest about this. We're both not ready. Let's stop having kids. Let's pretend we're one big happy family, because you're not. You can't talk to each other in a civil manner. You escalate every conversation you start. And you're both sleeping around. Maybe not at this moment, but any chance you get. So it's like, why pretend this is something you both want when it clearly it isn't? I do, I do want to do something. That's the thing. I do. I want. I you do say one. that. You say that. But, but my, I action, my action is. Was, I, my right. Action spoke hey, you know what, Stefan? I seriously believe. Like, you'll honestly, go back. I don't want to be with. I'm, I don't, don't want to be what? with nobody else. I look if at I her. If I got everything from you know her, what? I look at her. I, I see wanted... a beautiful woman. I, she's she's gorgeous, right? I know that. So, but I think for for a guy like you at 25, it's not good enough. I think you see other good-looking women, and you want them too. Yeah. And I think it's a natural instinct when you're younger. But if and he's not committed to you. You're not married. You you haven't made that step. So I don't think there's anything holding you together. If you really want to be with her, like you're saying, and I'm sorry, I just can't take that too seriously, and you really want him, start fresh. You made mistakes, you made mistakes. We're going to put this behind us. You're going to take the offer that I gave you about giving you some counseling, how to talk to each other. Um, I I'm well, willing to do that, but, but not. But there can't be butts involved. There has to be. Are we gonna start fresh and get the help to us, move forward? We don't lead us here, and when we get back home, we don't worry about the past. We work on the future. I know I love you. I'm willing to accept whatever you done done, and leave it and leave it. I, you say, you say, you say. I say the same thing. You say, thing. yeah, whatever. I don't understand that either. But at the same time, I love you, Sherry. I don't want another female. Real talk. Are you gonna lead us here? Whatever happened in the past, are you gonna leave it here, or are we gonna move on for the forward? Yeah, we, we can move on as long as it doesn't go back to the same thing. This is really a chance to say, you know what? We both messed up and I'm just too hurt and say we'll go our separate ways. Which way is it going to be? I want to move forward and keep it together. Moving forward? Trying? Yes, I mean, trying. But we, but we, Are we ready to go get some help? But we're going to leave yes. this on the stage. We're going to leave it on the stage? <laughs> Maybe not? Mm -hmm. I think we need help after this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go backstage and talk.